What's going on? Can turn the volume down here. Okay, much better. The speakers are too loud. All right, so I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna play a deck. I'm gonna show you the deck. So this is a new War of Spark deck, and it's green black, gold Gary build, uh, explore build. The new cards are Vivian. Uh, Champion of the Wilds is just crazy. So being able to cast all this stuff with Flash is nuts. Uh, giving it reach helps us against flyers and stuff too. The Vigilance is nice if you want to swing in, but you need to block her up. Uh, plus she just she looks at a ton of cards, and she gives you an alternate hand that they can't look at, they can't take from, they can't make you discard from, and you get to keep them forever. So it's just really good. This card's really good. Another new card uh, is the Eternal Ronus. And this guy's just good. He doesn't go away. I think two, two would be fine in here. Uh, the deck's, deck works good the way it is. but uh, And he, he doesn't, like I said, he doesn't go away. He pumps all the creatures and gives them Vigilance as well. So this is just really good really good even if for some odd reason um you flash this in and they are swinging out for some reason and then like all at once they're just their whole board's dead and then you just kill them next turn we do have two vivian reads in here the old vivian is almost just like a vivian deck but uh right now uh she's just awesome she was awesome before she's great now she deals with the flyer deals with the jamming deals with artifacts draws you cards um, however you want to look at it. Um, I went ahead and dropped one of this, one of these in. I saw a deck that was running three of these, and I really just want to test this out before I commit to spending up wild cards to get two more of these because I mean we're gaining a lot of life, but at the same time I don't want to see a ton of these. But you know, I mean it's a neat idea, and we could just sack it and sack all of our permanents and kill them as well. So. Uh, so let's go play this deck. Uh, you can pause it if you have to or take a look at all this. Uh, it, I did go with the Paradise Druid instead of the other Druid because I like the fact that it's hexproof when it comes down. You know, it can't be targeted. <clears throat> so you get to utilize it. And it adds one mana of any color, you know. It, I just, I, I really like this card. In the Simic Stompy deck, we're running four of them, so I like it. And that's another one that I want to shoot a video of uh, as well tonight here. So let's get playing. I also went ahead and did a sealed stream on Twitch, if anyone wants to go check that out. But I want to go ahead and get some videos here put up on YouTube of some of the new decks. I think the Vivian uh, is really going to change I mean, she's huge. <laughs> Alright, so this is not a good opening hand. We do go first. We're going to draw into some stuff here. We got all the mana. I guess we'll keep it and see what we can do. It's not really where we want to be. Because we're really going by luck at this point. Okay. There we go. This is much better. Um, I don't necessarily want to drop it down right now and just lose it. Of course, my dog finds a squeaky toy while I'm shooting video. <laughs> I thought I put it away. That's hilarious. Every time I go to shoot a video, he's got to make as much noise as possible. Okay, it comes from me. Maybe he's just killing it. Nice. That seems good. And 
the right deck. All right, so that's gone. <clears throat> we'll just leave Contempt up. A lot of Planeswalkers in these decks. Everyone's trying out the Planeswalkers. I do want to, I'm going to do like a budget hate build, I believe. So we can't cast it anymore. So, all right. That is perfectly fine. Let's fill our hand up. Let's take that. Let me write it. I had to let the dog out. Okay, so he hit Vivian. Let's just take a look. Again. Uh, we'll take this. I don't need him making a bunch of spirits. Alright, no attacks. This is just good to know that we can just build our board up too. Alright, and we'll trade. Nice. Sack something, draw a card. <clears throat> I don't really know getting rid of these guys, that's for sure. Alright. We need to find some stuff. Let's find us some things. Graveyard it. Uh, I don't know that we really even need to gain the life right now. And then let's go dig in some more. Take J Light Ranger. No attacks. We can't even kill this, so we pretty much lost Vivian, but we have more. Got a walker anyway. I think I fill the board. Graveyard, all that, but we pumped everybody, so that's good. Uh, four, three. Just a double block. I guess we can attack and see what he does. And he may block. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Assuming that we have finality and stuff like that, like we just get our stuff back. I didn't think it would be good for him. There you go. That's going to be fancy for you. Look at all that garbage. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, he's swinging in. I uh, know. We won't be blocking. You will be doing some block. He's going to have to do some blocking, like hardcore. <clears throat> All right. Holy crap. Should we just play these two, then play this next turn, or make him just eat? I mean, this is going to be a huge attack. They get vigilance. Hmm. He's going to be sacking stuff, so yeah, let's just go in for this. He may just scoot to it. We 
or swing over 26, so it's a pretty big hit. I believe it didn't give him trump trample. No. That would be too much. If this gave him trample. We're still hitting hard next turn, too. I mean, this guy's going to be huge. If he can't kill him alone, we're going to gain so much life. We gain 12 life. I'm going to take more than that. I'm assuming he's going to make a sack something, which we'll gladly sack the land of Elves, So We're not blocking because we know we have a lot of life coming in. Okay. Go to 16. Uh, like that was a hard choice. This better have been good. He's got to keep this up for a blocker. We have Death Touch, so this kills. And we'll take it back in a couple turns. This is a good turn for him. <clears throat> okay. Can I just exile something? I could exile this. Swinging lethally, like he has to block. Could exile this. Hmm. Let's do that. Let's just get rid of this guy. And swing in. Because there's not much he can kill. <clears throat> All right, he keeps getting blockers. I guess we're going to sacrifice Seeker Squire. He's pretty much dead anyway. So he's. <clears throat> we're just going to keep hitting and hitting and hitting. He eventually has to. You know, fold. Let's see what he gets. Nice. All right. Holy crap. There he goes. He gets it back and plays it. He needs to draw a bunch of cards. There you go. All right. <clears throat> of course, we get two lands. We wanted one. And another. All right, well, we're through our lands. So. We're attacking. If we get this back later, it's good too. And we're going to get it back really fast. And 
and he scoops. So that's it. That's essentially how it plays out. We didn't get to see much of the Vivian action, but I got a lot of videos coming out here with a bunch of new content of all the new decks that are going to be played. I'm excited. I'm just so happy that finally we are, you know, I just look forward to new cards coming into standard format because it does get dull after a while, uh, you know, especially in Arena. I'm still seeing a ton of mono red, but I mean, it's, it is not that big of an issue. So, all right, well, don't forget to follow. I'm going to have a lot of content coming up, especially I'm going to do a, uh, like a hay fair budget build and standard with a lot of these uncommon planeswalkers and stuff like that. I think there's some good stuff out there that's going to definitely be playable. So thank you. I'll see you soon.